This is Star Talk. David Terrazas asks, what does a rocket push against in space to gain momentum or navigate? Oh, mass. That's your thing. That's what we do yeah. in space. And it's a great question because if you, know, you don't have any gravity, mm-hmm. so when you navigate your spaceship, you need to point it in different directions. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, Hubble Space Telescope, for example, has no fuel on board, so there's what? no rocket. Can How you does believe that? How does it turn? It turns Someone with, pushes it? With, little kids? N- n- no, there's no one there to push it. There's nobody you said, there. you said no fuel. You didn't say no little kids. For, he's so he's so Just, he, he didn't what say is, no a lot of it's things. It's reaction yeah. wheels. No lions. It's, what we, it's reaction wheels. What's so reaction things, wheels? Reaction wheels spin, we, and they have big uh, control moment gyros, which is kind of the same thing on the, on the space station. Mm-hmm. These things spin. Bzz, mm-hmm. You know, they spin up. And it creates a reaction, and that reaction creates uh, an opposite reaction. Right. You spin them in, the, in, a, in, a certain ori- in a certain direction, and you'll get a reaction in the other direction, and the thing will point where you want Are it. Are they sort of gyroscopes? Is exactly. That That's okay. a good idea. Yeah, spinning. That's one way. The other way we did on the space shuttle and on mm-hmm. other spaceships do this. In fact, the space station has this on the Russian end, or mm-hmm. what we call thrusters. And what is it? It's, it's gas. Yeah. <laughs> Could be nitrogen, could be something else, yeah. but just a guess. There we go. It, it could sounds, be just on it the Russian. Sounds it sounds like that. Except be... you can't hear them in space. Uh, can't hear it in space. It's just sad. You do hear it. You hear it inside of the spaceship shaking. It is. Yes. So, so anyway, you <laughs> these these sadness. these thrusters will release. There again, it'll cause a rea- uh, It'll cause an action, mm-hmm. which is the release of a gas uh, and a little a little rocket, and then you'll have a reaction the other way. So on the space shuttle, we had. Large and small thrusters, mm-hmm. different different varieties, all over the spaceship, mainly in the front at the nose and in the back that you would fire to get the correct orientation. Just like you have the steering wheels on a car in the yes. front. Yes, exactly. And you can steer all you want. You're not going to go anywhere. Your control surfaces do not work because there's no air. When you're coming down on the shuttle, even because it looked like an airplane, yeah, it will not be active until you pick up atmosphere. So the way you turned and pointed and, and steered that space shuttle yeah. was with these little uh, little thrusters that would fire... Jets, That's the one accurate thing jets. from gravity. But let, let me yes, back up. Exactly on this, right. Let me back up on this question. You back asked, up. Is there anything to push against? And the, the whole mm-hmm. idea, when you watch the rocket leave the ground, it gives it, it gives you the impression that the flames and gases are pushing against the Earth. But that's not really what's going on. You're throwing gas, hot gas, out the back of the rocket so fast that uh, the reaction is the rocket goes off in the other direction. Stand on a skateboard and throw a bowling ball to your best friend or maybe your enemy, and you will find that the skateboard goes off in the other direction. This works whether or not you're on the Earth or in space. So basically the rocket fuel is just the biggest bowling ball we can create. And it goes fast. More or less. All right, here's another And we don't throw it at our enemies. (laughs) This is Star Talk.